Hello YouTube world. Today we're going to go through the steps of changing out a 15 amp breaker. What we have here is a 15 amp breaker that no longer works. We have gone through the necessary steps of testing to see if removing certain components in the household will make this operable. What should happen and what should take place with this particular 15 amp breaker. If you flip it, you should hear a clicking and a locking sound. But if you will notice that with this particular breaker, it no longer clicks and it no longer locks. We had a situation where um, too much power was going to this particular one. And guess just over a period of time, um, it has destroyed this particular breaker. So we're going to go through the steps of changing this out. Uh, my recommendation, of course, would be for you to call a licensed electrician. Uh, but for me, because this is something that I'm, I'm comfortable that I can take care of myself, I'm going to go through the necessary steps of changing this out. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I purchased a 15-amp uh, breaker here from Home Depot. Um, this costs approximately $5 at Home Depot. So we're going to go through the necessary steps of installing this particular breaker. And we're going to see if we can get everything up and running. So the first thing that I'm going to do is instead of trying to isolate the power and simply kill the power to one breaker, I'm going to kill the power to the whole house. Remember that safety is important. Um, anything dealing with electricity, if it's not done correctly, not only can it cause injury, but it can also cause death. So I'm going to kill the power to the entire house to make certain that to make certain that there's no power that is actually flowing that can actually make it to uh, make it to me and can cause any issues out here on this end. So the first thing that will happen is that I will remove this particular panel here so that I can get behind this panel and get to this individual um, circuit breaker here so that we can start the removal process. So I will be back with you in just a couple of seconds. Okay guys, we're back and as you can see, we have the cover removed and most importantly, we have all of the power shut off to the entire house. For the sake of time, we have gone through the necessary checks to ensure that um, there is no power running to the, any of the breakers. Again, safety is number one. So the thing that we would do now is begin the process for the removal of this particular breaker here that no longer works, this single breaker. So as you can see here along the side, you have a single wire going into this 15 amp breaker and you have a screw here along the side that screw requires a simple flathead or standard screwdriver and you will remove this particular wire Next, we will pull our wire from the side. Once we remove our wire from the side, we simply allow it to hang here. Next, get a firm grip on your single breaker and simply twist it a little to your left if you're operating it and removing it from the left-hand side. And it simply pops out. Now we have our new breaker and we're going to insert our new breaker in reverse order. And so we're simply going to take our 15 amp breaker and we're going to insert it in reverse order. Our screw should be on the left side. We're going to place it in the appropriate groove on the side and it snaps into place and from there it simply locks the 
Then we will take our wire that we had on the side, insert our wire. After inserting our wire, we will simply tighten our screw. And we want to make certain that our screw is firm and tight. And once we do that, we want to give it one additional good turn. Now that we have our single 15 amp breaker installed, we see that it's installed properly, working properly. Our wire is tightened. We still have our power completely shut off. So the next thing for us to do now is for us to replace our front case and to tighten all the screws and simply cut our power back on and see if everything is working. We'll be back in just a couple seconds. Okay, YouTube subscribers, we have completed the installation of our 15 amp circuit breaker and we have made it in the house. So now for the final test. Um, prior to today, uh, we did not have the ability to turn on our lights or plug in anything in this particular room. And because of everything that is going on currently with COVID-19, um, of course, we have um, this stay at home order that is in place and really not sure as to whether or not we can, uh, we could have called electricians right now, even if we wanted to. But like I said, initially, uh, because this was something that I was pretty much familiar with already, did not have any apprehensions um, as it pertained to whether or not I could install the 15 amp circuit breaker myself. So now for the test to see whether or not it is working, uh, let's see if we have lights now in our room. One, two, and hey, let there be lights. YouTube subscribers, YouTube fans, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, uh, please hit like. If you did not like what you saw, keep it to yourself. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. Until next time, take care.